Kaji Temple. Oh? <laughs> huh? I see you. Hey, Maddie, did you see that magical fairy creature go by? <laughs> no, Dada. What magical fairy creature? Oh, that one that's been sneaking around in here. Be serious huh? for a minute, Dada. Look, I'm building a pagoda like what <laughs> I saw in this book about ancient old Japan. A pagoda? Oh, neat! It looks like a funny house. <laughs> I'm making my pagoda like this one that's over a thousand years old. And it's built out of wood. A thousand years? That a wow! Oh, oh, hey, there it is! Oh. <laughs> I thought you were joking. It's super cute. And mischievous mm. and shy. <laughs> it won't let me get too close. Can't <laughs> oh. <laughs> work. Oh. It's tricky, huh? isn't it? I wonder why it brought us here. Whoa, those are lotus flowers. Look how they float. And these beautiful trees. Look! Huh? I think that's the pagoda in my book. Let's go see. There it is! <laughs> Maybe it wants to lead us toward the pagoda. Hello, I am Maddie, and this is Dada. I am Tsunekatsu. Can I help you? I was building a little pagoda like that one back at home. And then a creature, uh, like a fairy or something, brought us here. A creature? I can show you the pagoda, <laughs> but I do not know if I can show you a fairy creature. I am the temple carpenter, as was my father, as was my grandfather. This is the Buddhist temple Horyuji. Most of the buildings here are very old, as this temple began over 1,300 years ago. This is Gojo Noto. It's tall! Did a wow! This old temple area is dedicated to Yakushi Niorai, the healing Buddha. And long before that, it was where Prince Shotoku's palace was. It is a very important place in Japan. Gojo Noto is believed to be the oldest multi-floored wooden structure in the world. Hey, look! It's gone! I did oh. not see anything, but I believe that Kodamas live in here. A Kodama is a tree spirit, perhaps like what you would call a fairy. They live in trees. But if they live in trees, how can they live in here? Oh. This pagoda is in a tree. Ah, but it is oh. a tree. <laughs> it is made entirely of wood, and wood is alive. When a carpenter cuts down a tree and uses it, the wood starts a new life in a new shape. If a big tree takes a thousand years to grow, the wood it is used for should also last a thousand years so that a new tree can grow and replace the one that was cut. It's not wasteful at all. To respect nature, the carpenter wants to make the second life of the wood oh. last as long as possible. Ah. Oh. Oh, I smell the wood, the tree. A tree can live a long time after it has been cut down huh? if huh? we value it and treat it well. And do you see that the roofs are very wide? They protect the bottom of the house from the rain, which would eventually rot the wood. So being careful with the tree in its new life is a way of treating nature nicely. Yes, respectfully. How can a wooden pagoda still be standing for over a thousand years if it's only made out of wood? The pagoda is constructed to work with nature, not against it. Hey! Oh! oh. I was about to say that this area is an earthquake zone, so there have been many, many earthquakes here. And the pagoda is still standing, even from shaking like this? When an earthquake or very strong wind strikes, the pagoda is always ready to dance with them. Right through the center of the pagoda, from down buried in the ground to up to the spire at the top, there is the Shinbashiya. Yay! Oh! You and the Kodama have much magic together. <laughs> but this is what I wanted to explain. See the Shinbashira? It was once a tall, straight tree in the forest. It has that strong tree trunk in the middle of it? It is very solid. But also, each story of the pagoda is smaller than the one below it. This makes it stand more strongly as each one gives support to the floor above. It's up there now! 
let's go! Oh. Up there, but... Oh. Sorry uh. about this. Dada and the Kadam are getting carried away with their game. Uh, uh, <laughs> it is all very fascinating oh. to me. Uh, see how we are moving back and forth? Each story is a separate, independent from the floor above it. Each has its own side pillars, so they are able to move separately if an earthquake strikes. But the Shin Bashara does help to keep the stories in the center. Whoa! Getting kind of shaky up here. Oh, whoops! Sorry! I was looking for the Kodama! Whoa. It dances with the earthquake uh, like a snake, but stays around the center post. Did have fun! <laughs> and the long roofs help as well. Each roof is covered in very heavy tiles that make the roofs like the heavy long pole tightrope acrobats use to keep balanced. And look, those beams there, they look like strongmen. This way of supporting the beams also helps to spread the vibrations around. And like everything else, it is decorative. When we build anything, it is stronger if it respects and stays in balance with nature. And the Kodamas <laughs> remind us that wood is alive and that it should be respected. Hey, there it is! Oh, whoa. Looks like we have to go. Thank you, Tsunekatsu. Goodbye! Yeah, goodbye! Sayonara, my magical friends. I've huh? looked everywhere for a Kodama. I just can't find one. Well, I'm finished. I decided to not use any cardboard, <laughs> but make my little pagoda out of the twigs and grass in the yard. Hmm. That's too bad that you didn't find a Kodama. Tomorrow, I will help you look for one. to this doll's house I'm building. Hey, it's holding. Dada, what else do you remember about our camping trip? I've got the trees, our tent, but my painting is missing. While you're having fun reading a comic book, I'm having fun mopping the floor. I'm not reading a comic book. It's an art book. 